This video is brought to you by UEI Test Instruments. Essential Instruments, Outstanding Service. All right, guys, here's our Goodman unit. We have a call for cooling. Um, the pressures are stable, but I'm going to show y'all what it does. I'm going to pop this disconnect in. I mean, it doesn't even have time to, you know, stabilize or anything. It just, yeah, I mean, it just, it's, it's, it just opens up. The internal relief opens up right away. So there's our new compressor. We've got a new filter dryer. I'm going to take all this off. I'm going to take the condenser coil off. The dryer is sitting behind here. We're going to remove the dryer and replace it with a piece of copper and put the dryer out here. And, uh... Yeah, and that's pretty much it. So we'll get started. All right, so we have our Goodman unit stripped down to nothing but the base. It's the easiest way to do this, especially if you're going to change the dryer. And on a compressor change out, you definitely want to change the dryer. Goodman likes to make it difficult for us and put the dryer inside the unit. I'm going to put it out here, put a piece of copper right here. I'm going to cut that compressor loose, set the new one in. This makes life a lot simpler. It's just two solder joints, one here and one here to get the coil off, and it sits over there. Nothing to it. Okay, so we have the new compressor. In place with the suction line in place, all bolted down. There's the old one. I'm going to weld the compressor and then remove the dryer and add a piece of copper. Okay, so we have the compressor completely installed. We have the old dryer out, replaced with a piece of copper. And we have the new dryer sitting right here. We have not took the caps off yet. We will not do that till we're ready. We're going to install that outside. But right now we're going to set the condenser coil back on top, weld the condenser coil here and here, dryer, and then we can start pressure test and vacuum. All right, coil's back on, new dryer, everything's back together. Got about 145 pounds of pressure, it's all the pressure I had left, but I have big blue on everything. Big blue here, big blue here, big blue inside on the compressor. I see no bubbles whatsoever. Y'all hear the vacuum pump running in the background? I'm letting the oil heat up so I can drain it and change it. Okay, so about 150. I see absolutely no bubbles. So my discharge line down here on the liquids. There's my piece of copper. My dryer looks good. I think we're gonna be okay. I think we are going to be a-okay. We'll let that pressure hold a few more minutes. I'm gonna drain that oil, put some fresh vacuum pump oil, and then start a vacuum. <coughs> All right, the unit's been put back together. Cody's putting the final screws in. All the wires are pulled through, wired up on a new capacitor. There's the old capacitor. Vacuum's just about done, and then we are going to charge it up and start it up. All right, everything's back together. We're weighing in some 410A. And then we'll start this baby up, and she should be good to go. I had to use electrical tape to tidy up my wires. I hate that shit, but I don't have any zip ties with me. 
believe me it's got my OCD going crazy right now but I didn't have any zip ties so I had to do what I had to do all right we got this machine running and this compressor oh my god it sounds so much better I mean it sounds like a normal Copeland scroll I almost got the factory charge in there That's about right at the factory charge. It's pretty cold out here today. So I may have to come back and fine tune the charge. Yeah, it's 64 right now. So I'm gonna let it run a few minutes, but it's definitely good to go.